<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to game 5 of Unflappable, down 400 TV. This looks a bit of a pickle. Let's get a wizard first of all, versus Red Delicious. He is on th minus 3 wins. 3 more losses than wins, he's got a strength up. He doesn't have a good pester go. Dodge one, and a block sure hands one. Bludge, Nurgle Warrior, three guards. Do you think Eldril? The problem with Eldril is I hate him. And I'm tempted just to go Moranian just for the strength again. I really do like Moranian more than, more than Eldril. What I'll do is, this is really good, right? I won't flap, but I'll just blame I'll just blame Storm when I lose. That's uh, that's perfect, isn't it? <laughs> Rebel Wilson. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, this is this is perfect. I can't lose now. Either I win the game or I lose and I blame Store. It's it's win win, baby. Endless Rebel Wilsons. Didn't Rebel Wilson lose Lords of Weight? Or what one of the one, one of them did. <laughs> there seems a lot of like fat people who are comedians because they're fat. That seems to be their uh, number one qualification for being a comedian. Yeah. Not terrible now, Rebel Wilson, to be fair. Because she's lost weight, uh, her forehead has become more pronounced, hasn't it? Because you didn't really notice how big her forehead was when she was like 400 pounds. <laughs> 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 but now that the rest of her is normal sized, <laughs> you realise that she's got a five head. <laughs> no offence. It's HTK. I mean, cargo bay. Hello, HTK. Now, nah, Don French like, was actually kind of funny sometimes, right? It was most. Fuck off, Jimmy. Most fatties are just like, it's funny because he's fat. Like the hangover, isn't it? Where they even tell you it's funny because he's fat. In case you're in any doubt. Give me the charm. You ready for uh, ready for five idiots, Dimmy? On Sunday, it's gonna be amazing, guys. Definitely darker. To be fair, the good thing about Eldril is he's not only is he better for the darker, he's also better for the uh, farming of SPP, isn't he? During said darker. Yeah. 
des joueurs galopent de partout. Tu étais du genre euh, galopeur, toi Pas du tout, Jim. Je restais collé à la ligne médiane et j'attendais que mes victimes me tombent dans les bras. <rire> Il a le ballon en ligne de mire, mais va-t-il pouvoir le ramasser Le ballon est en l'air. Pour longtemps, mais il a. Oh, it's very sunny. I didn't even realize. It's not going to stop me. <laughs> Triple pike! <laughs> <laughs> I'd l I would like to see that. Right, so he's on 13 now, isn't he? So yeah, the touchdown will get him to level. Really nice. Used Eldrill's catch there, wonderful. Oh, Dimmy, don't be like that. Kaz has confirmed, well, I've confirmed, you've confirmed, Kaz has confirmed, Trent's confirmed, Faulty said something like, maybe, Sunday I'm down, so there you go, Sunday I'm down, I'm good for Sunday, Sunday works, so it looks like we're good. <laughs> Fuck off, Eldrill, it's my ball, you're not getting it. Cette formation permet d'avancer sans trop de risques. Ça va être dur de leur arracher le ballon. Shit ballon. The old shit ballon. Eldrill Fashbinder. Ugh. It's a shame that Fashbinder is such a bad person, I didn't even know. Lord Borak, que je vois là-bas au premier rang. Mais c'est bien lui, Jim. Hé, hey, Borak, va te faire tête de pioche. Ouais, oh, hey.
Maybe I should just surf the past to Maybe I can. Still. No, I can just blitz him, can Algrul's in a bit of a pickle. Diced. What a joke. I'm flapping now. Maybe he should have stood up, right, just to take the hits. He's got a lot of TV, hasn't he? Grosse pression sur le porteur du ballon. Il a intérêt à s'activer. Eldor not dead. Outrageous. Blitz him, then 1D him, and then dodge out. That seems terrible. Blitz him and have no support also seems terrible. Fuck okay, it, I'll do this then. Yeah, 
Pretty good. entre les joueurs adverses, le tout avec le sourire. Que d'arrogance C'est une, comment dirais-je, très belle action okay. Just take the stun firm guy out. And maybe take out... Try and take out the faster guy. Not terrible, not terrible. Schools. Amazing. Would you have taken dodge now? Just delays his development to the key skills by too long. And you need the help of the TV because you're a bit rubbish. Take it later on. Maybe you just get so much from block guard, high like blow claw, tentacles even. Stand firm. Dodge is just too much TV and too much delay. Fucking shattered, Dimmy. I played, I played Minecraft till 10 a.m. And I started later yesterday as well. Yeah, I managed to, I managed to get a hold of my addiction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, only, only till 10 a.m. I stopped at seven and then I did a bit more. Ugh. The seven would have been fine, by the way. I was totally fine with finishing at seven. That would have been a success. Completely reasonable. That's my target at time. Seven. I think seven's fine. Probably 
a geothermal oh, shit. In that case, I should have made the dodge and. Gears him to get him out for free. No, it's not worth it. Do love a Daka, fuwa. You gotta love a Daka, haven't you? It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun for me, anyway. Much more fun than like a normal, a normal. Ça sent la bonne grosse empoignade. Il s'est fait poudrer. C'est bien comme ça que disent les jeunes de nos jours, non? Il s'est fait poutrer. C'est bien comme ça que disent les jeunes de nos jours, non Oh, you went for the sack. Probably the right call. Run the fuck away. Quite like rerolling that tentacles because it gives us the stall for the next turn, doesn't it, potentially? Hello, Peravale. Indeed, yep. Indeed, down lots of TV. Completely unflappable. Exactly, yeah, Demi. Yeah. 
semi retail needs to defend his quadrex. <laughs> oh, flip me. Defend the quadrex. The biggest thing here is stopping the Beast of Nurgle getting on the board, isn't it? Wow, really far away. That's wild. Oh, but now he's in. Now he is in. With the fail, he is in. So, I have to move over here. Never lucky. Is this the beast screen now? Yeah, the owls whiz, but that's still surprising, though, isn't it? Having a like, cause it's still good being up TV. Maybe you underrealize equity when up TV. No offence, you absolute shitter. <laughs> uh, no, you know what I mean, though. <laughs> is that Inarian? Is that is that the correct kind? Like he's way better up TV than down. He's actually really bad down to the Interesting, isn't it? You know, Thomas T mostly does Dark Elves, doesn't he? Seventy-six to sixty. Misspell trees usually else. Seventy-four, sixty-seven, but better down than the rest. So better, better down TV than not down TV. It is a pretty cool command here. Yeah. Pretty cool. I think just hit, just hit him, don't, don't hit out there. Thought oh, that was going to uh, be quads for a second. Most of our games, I'm down 12 Budweiser's. <laughs> wow, 94. 
57 and 70. Wow. Shatter dies. That is that is pretty that is a pretty wild pretty wild set of stats. I mean very low sample size obviously in the 23. Ils effectuent l'engagement. Maintenant, il va falloir tenir en défense. Yeah, pass centric. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Different different races will definitely respond differently. The TV gaps. Because no matter how much you can outplay somebody, if they're just shitting on you with Garden Mighty Blow. It's a bash team. Oh shit, I'm down on the play. Then there's just you just can't do that much, can you? There's a limit to what you can what you can do with Bash. Well, I mean, they're concessions because you're getting fucked, aren't they? Like, it's such a, just a stupid argument. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that you're stupid, Lil Baz. But people have made that argument before, like, uh, d you know, Dode and Voodoo Mike have made the remark if you should take out concessions it's like no you fucking shouldn't obviously you're more likely to concede when you're down 350 because you're getting skull fucked like <laughs> it's pretty fucking obvious isn't it it's pretty fucking obvious that if you're 400 tv down to fucking killer chaos like you're gonna fucking lose and they're gonna kill all your fucking players so you can't take out the concessions because that's entirely the fucking point <laughs> Like it's entire yeah exactly people concede when they're losing for fuck's sake <laughs> for fuck's sake <laughs> so there you go but yeah it would be interesting to know how many were concessions but it's still just like I mean I'm not you know I'm not saying that your point is stupid but the point of like taking them out was so so dumb because it's like obviously you're gonna be more likely to concede me down TV. Not because, not and then and then oh no, and then fucking Voodoo Mike said, oh, they're losing their they're losing those games in their head and that's why they're conceding. No, they're con they're conceding because they're getting fucking wrecked. Duh. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm not flapped. That was just a bit of a rant about Voodoo Mike. No problem. This game is going fine. Yeah. But then you can argue better to have a game than not, right? But then not if not if ninety percent of them are concessions. So but then how you know, what would the data say and what percentage would anybody be okay with? You've got no idea, have you? This is a bit of a banging, isn't it? These two come back we've got eleven of the second out of how old not if you make another removal. There's a wizard and elder, so there's a chance of there's a chance of getting a turnover on defense, even with not too many men. Ooh. Oh, he only had eleven. He just, um, that looks like a lot of kills, but two. Boy, how So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, he only had 11 players. Wow. No, I filed it again, I don't. Not unless Tony buys me it. <laughs> then I might. But, um, no, I don't think so. There's a chance here, isn't there, with a wizard and stuff? <coughs> Not a lot of chance, but. His team's way better, all the guard and the block and everything. Ooh. 
GTR. That might be good for us. <laughs> Only joking. Only joking. Oh, zero, so zero. There was a little bit of uh, anger at Voodoo Mike, but completely unrelated to the Blood Bowl. And zero flappability in said Blood Bowl game. help me that much does it? I guess it means I can punch him. Just realised we're doing all that, and I'm just—I can just walk around here for free. This is pretty good, isn't it? With the wizard, there's a uh, there's the potential for happenings. Maybe Lil Bass. The, the dude was a complete tool bag. And it's a shame because he obviously had a brain, but he just couldn't apply it. Yeah, God. Like him and Dode both. Like, I don't. Again, we're not flapping about the Blood Bowl game that's happening here. This is this is different. I don't understand how you can understand things so little that you can think a fair but this is what this is what both Voodoo Mike and Dord agreed on. That the best indicator of a fair match is not being able to predict who the winner is before it starts. So they wanted to make every game just a literal coin flip. So how do you make a game a coin flip if you've got two players of wildly differing skill levels, or even any different skill level, how do you make a, a how do you make a coin flip by completely taking skill out of the equation? Right, that's the only then you do because then it's just pure luck, and luck is fifty fifty. And they both somehow thought this was acceptable to literally try to take all skill out of the game. Mm. 
Well, that's great. I get to get to abandon all of them now. Maybe could just bolt this guy. If this guy goes, it's not great. If this guy goes, it's pretty great. So it's seventy-five percent instead of eighty-three, and plus there's the high roll. So I think a fireball is fine. It was less likely to do nothing. This is disappointing, isn't it? I mean, I could go for the 1D hitting the ball. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if it works... I guess just try to do the punches first. I want, I want the recovery on one of these guys. Brilliant play by Jim. Well, that was terrible, wasn't it? Used a reroll, didn't blitz, didn't hit the Nurgle Warrior, fireball fizzled. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't good. Unflapped, though. I remain unflapped. Because Skuro, um, it's new people, isn't it? So they were just they're right. They're making it from scratch. So it'll probably use the same matchmaking as like cycling manager. Indeed, so the lesser man would be quite flapped over that turn. I mean that was that went about as badly as a turn could go. Luckily we're swashbuckling here and preparing for uh, hard matches down the line. Fucking swashbuckling. Fucking die off. <laughs> yeah, I think Unlimited is most likely starting for the BB3 as well. Especially as one of the one of the VIPs is a complete lunatic and wants Unlimited, and I guess a few other people do as well. Because they just, just because they're ignorant. Like, again, they're asking the wrong people. They're asking the wrong people to be VIPs. Just because they don't like what I have to say, they haven't asked me. You know? It's fucking stupid, so just ask a bloody idiot private leaguer who knows absolutely fuck all. The VIPs are the people who cyanide are like asking for input about the rules and stuff. And some of them are alright, but some of them are absolutely terrible. Hopefully, Walid, hopefully. Well, one of them's a, one of the admins, one of the mods in the Discord is a rebel person, so you can safely assume he's one of the VIPs, can't you? And he's a fucking idiot who's terrible at Blood Bowl. I mean, he's terrible at being a mod, and he's terrible at Blood Bowl. Yeah, exactly, Bezel. Thank you. 
Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> This is tricky, isn't it? I mean, it's a, it's a mess. The whiz failed. The star's gone. This team's too good. I can't. I can't screen it. It's the only play is reds into reds, probably, isn't it? Sorry, reds into reds into reds. Well, that's it. We can lie down now and wait for the next game. Didn't even like it. I mean, this is just an honest assessment of the match, right? The match is desperate. There's, there's no way back into it. That was, that was the last chance that turn, and it was desperate. I mean, just everything's gone wrong, and this isn't a question of, you know, um, mental, you know, what's it called, uh, weak mental or tilt or anything, it's just I don't really don't think there's any I mean there's obviously there might be chances or pills or whatever but it's pretty much over now I didn't even hate the uphills there because just the fact that like the surf is an actual win con, isn't it? Whereas now, like, uphilling to get an uphill on the ball probably isn't going to win you the game. You know, like, there's probably no game winning players left now. Probably not. No, I didn't. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Would have done if I was 2 0 up, but you're not going to stop and score in the defensive dap. Defensive dap is to protect your team, and I don't have a team to protect. I really don't think there is shadow dice. I'm down too many players. He's got too much strength, too much power. Like, I really just don't think there is his chance. I really didn't think there was a chance of reconsolidating. Or consolidating. Never mind, reconsolidating. That's fine. It's just realistic, right? There was I knew that was do or die at that point because it wasn't going to get better. It was only going to get worse. That was the problem. It's not about crying about the dice or you know being incredulous at the game state. It was just it was bleak. Had to make something happen that turn, otherwise it slips away. Shame. 
Shame there just wasn't a lot to do, was there? Down too much TV, and then obviously Elder removed and the Wiz did nothing. <laughs> My eyes are clearing myself. Uh, oh man, the Irish lads that I'm mates with, they, they've like got literal fur. Like literal fur. All over the back as well. Full on fur. <laughs> can you can braid your arms now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, draws okay, right? Down this much TV with the wizard failing. Just is what it is, isn't it? There wasn't really chances. Well, there were chances, but I had to dice him a bit. Like, he, he got sent off. But, you know, if the mighty blood removed somebody at some point, if they'd taken less attrition. Like, this is a lot of attrition. He hasn't got a lot of kill power. This is a lot of attrition. So pretty unlucky on what we took. Unlucky on what we did. Wizard completely fizzled. It is what it is. I've, I've got nothing to forgive myself for. Just one of those games that happens in Blood Bowl. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, it, it is totally fine. But yeah, obviously without Wizard. Like, the Wizard was a decent shot, I think, to make something happen. The the people were kind of away from disturbing presence and stuff. I feel like there could have been a ball snaffle. And particularly bad when, like... You're 17% for a fire a bolt to fizzle, aren't you? But for the for a three-man fireball, you, you're like 12.5% for it to fizzle. So it was that was one of the pluses to the three-man fireball is that it's less likely to fizzle completely, isn't it? But I mean, happy to get the stall in the first half. The first half, it, the first half was uh, now it's just three. The uh, fourth guy was a little bit back. He had the ball carrier and two players there and there, and then the other player was here. I'm just, uh, I'm just a bit tired, to me honestly. I'll have to have a nap after the stream. So I can play, can play Minecraft all night. <laughs> I know I'm a little bit sad at trying. But I'm certainly not flapped. Oh, it might not be a draw. Hello, nurse. Oh no, I've got no players. Oh. Right, so he blitz him, that pushes him to there, right? We need two players there. 
Des orques, des nains, des humains et même des hommes bêtes. Tous réunis pour en découdre sur le terrain. We can do this. He's got nerves of steel, so it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Alright, it's probably not going to happen, but we can try. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, well, that's game over. But I battled till the end. Didn't give up, didn't surrender. I'm proud of myself. C'est une fragrance. Rien à voir avec du parfum, Bob. Tu aimes Ça s'appelle Charogne numéro 5. Je ne me souviens pas de me faire de la peur. J'ai besoin de re-roll. Screw it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it to piss him off. C'est maintenant ou jamais, Jim. Si l'une des deux équipes a une boîte secrète, il serait temps qu'elle s'en serve. Pathetic. Zero armor bricks. <laughs> and the guy who got the minus AV got the uh, thing. Only made 12 blocks in the entire match. The question here is whether to go dodge or block, right? Because, like, obviously he wants to blitz every turn. I guess we just go block first. Block helps with blocking. <laughs> Go with the uh, loner for a game because they're elves. Right, not terrible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.